Hey guys, I'm John, the owner of Look What I Found Auctions, and we've had some simply amazing pieces come into the warehouse this week. I'm going to walk through and show you some of what we got. I'm really excited. Very special piece right here. This is a mid-1800s William Tranter 32 caliber parlor pistol. It has an octagon barrel, and it has Birmingham proof marks underneath here. It's got the serial number stamped on the side. Right there it is, W.Trainer Patent. This thing opens up. It is very clean, and it has a checkered walnut grip. You do not need any kind of license to hold or carry this. It was made before 1898, so it is considered a relic. Here's an awesome piece of Cincinnati history. This is a circa 1950 Burger Beer Clock. It has a tin face. We've tested it and it keeps time. Right underneath it, we've got an Anchor brand clothes ringer. It has a lot of the graphics still on it. This thing is in good condition for its age. It's complete with all the pieces, even the crank here on the side. This is a very unique piece, a conversation starter for sure. This is an old cast iron hay spear. This would make a great wall hanger. You are not gonna see one of those every day. Right back here on the wall, we've got a very special piece. This is an antique super tone mandolin in great condition for its age. It still has all the original strings. Very old piece here. The back is bowed as opposed to flat. Really nice design. Right here on the neck, you can tell at one point they probably kind of reconnected that. Really excited about this piece right here. This is a 1920 NCR cash register. It is a double drawer. It was made in Dayton, Ohio. Has the serial number right on here. That's how we dated it to 1920. It is about 95% original and complete. You can see it's got the glass window here. It's actually on both sides. Um, we couldn't get it open. We tried this crank here is uh, how it opens up, but it does have the original key here. And it comes with the motor assembly with the plug. That isn't how it opens. That's pretty much how it does the receipts, we believe. But for safety purposes, we didn't plug it in. Next up, we've got some Cedarville Opera House theater seats. These were original to the Opera House and it was built in 1888. So we have every reason to believe these are at least that old. They have wire racks, little holsters for your hats. So back in the day, folks would take off their hats put it under the seat, and watch the show. This is a pierced wood design, and the frames are cast iron. Really beautiful old pieces here. This is a 1950s Empire Metalware Corp electric 10 toy oven. It's been tested and works. It gets very hot. This is a 1929 Popeye dime register bank. So what you do is you put your dime in right here and it locks as soon as you put in the first dime and then once you get up to $5 it unlocks and you can open that up and take the money out. Awesome piece right here. This is a Thunder Explosion 777 slot machine has the tokens and everything. It's been tested and works. I absolutely love this piece right here. This is a 1970s Midway's Bullseye arcade game. Power's on, when it came in, it was working fine. We even got some video of it working that we'll show you guys, but we can't seem to recreate it. For some reason, I don't know if there's a loose wire or what it is, but it does light up fine. Has two wireless remotes with it.
back and forth. Very cool bike right here. This is a 1960s Huffy Galaxy bike. Had this like gas tank almost thing on it. The pretty neat design. And then the front had a couple headlights. They do need to be replaced though. Here we've got a skateboard signed by all the members of the band, The Offspring. Last but not least, we have some amazing vintage speakers. These are Sansui SP1200 cabinet speakers and they sound terrific. You'll find all of these items and more at lookwhatifound.bid auction in Sunday night. Good luck and happy bidding.